Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Tell you what, it is a hot one out here today. Uh, it's very muggy and just thick. Uh, but we have um, a front coming through today that is supposed to drop the temperature about 10 or 15 degrees by tomorrow and hopefully cool everything off. I think even tomorrow it's only supposed to be in the high 70s. But before the uh, storms roll in this afternoon, I wanted to get out here and harvest some dill uh, because my dill plants have already been beat down a couple of times by some previous storms that we had. So they're, they're a little sad looking. But I wanted to show you about harvesting dill seeds and get them in before this next set of rain comes through that's supposed to last the next couple of days. Uh, so I was afraid I'd lose some more seeds if I waited too long. Um, so let's go check out the dill. So when your dill plant um, gets big enough, it's going to start blossoming and having these little uh, bunches of yellow flowers on top of them. They're great for attracting pollinators. And then eventually these clusters of flowers that are on top of the dill plant will turn into seed that you can then harvest to either use in recipes or to plant uh, the following year. So as I mentioned, my dill's pretty sad looking. Most of it's all bent over <laughs> and falling down uh, from the rainstorms that we had. And I think when I've let some of the chickens out here, they've even kind of pecked at it. Um, so going back to the seeds though, to harvest the seeds, eventually your yellow flowers are gonna turn this dark brown color. And maybe you can see that here on the camera. Um, and once it starts getting to this point, you wanna keep an eye on it. Uh, because now it's full of seeds that you can harvest. Um, if you wait too long, they'll start dropping out and falling on the ground and you'll, you'll end up losing the harvest, or though it may come back up and, and you'll have a whole nother crop next year in places you didn't expect, which I probably will have um, more dill sprouting around this area next year, I would imagine, just because a lot of the seeds have already fallen off. But if you wanna harvest some dill seeds, once they get to this brown crunchy stage, this is this one here is actually full of flowers. You can, or I mean, full of seeds. You can uh, clip this off with a pair of scissors, or you can take like a little bowl and just kind of squeeze, bunch it all together. Let's see if I can get that on the camera, and just kind of, you know, do this with your fingers. Just kind of rub all across there, and they'll just all start dropping out. There we go. So I got most of those out of there. Now I'll work through these. So in this bowl, I mean, I probably have hundreds of seeds. And this is just off of three little seed heads. Um, and I have tons more that are not quite ready yet. Some of the flowers are still yellow. Others are kind of like in this in-between yellow-green stage, so I'm gonna wait for those, uh, and they'll turn. But uh, it's amazing how many seeds that you can get out of just a very small crop of dill. I didn't plant um, that very much this year. I only planted two four-foot rows, and then I had a couple other random plants over in another bed. But um, it's pretty amazing how much that you can get off of a few dill plants. You know, during the growth period over the summer, you can harvest the, the green stalks and stems and, and use those to make pickles and stuff with. Uh, and then you can end up with all these seeds that have plenty of other uses. Um, the cool thing about, you know, plants in general, I think, is they all have such storied histories to them. And uh, I know not everybody is a history buff or into the, historical type things, but I always like to look up and, and find out, you know, the whole history of a plant and where it came from. And dill goes way back. Uh, the first recorded, um, I don't know, re first recorded history of dill is about 5,000 years ago in ancient Egypt. They referred to it as a soothing medicine. Um, dill has been used, either the seeds or the plant have been used either in cooking or in medicinal. Uh, uses over you know many thousands of years uh, 
the Babylonians about 3,000 years ago. There's record of them growing it in their gardens. The seeds themselves, now this is much later down the line, uh, you know, more like probably um, medieval England um, or even up into early Americas, the seeds were referred to as meeting house seeds. And it's because they were used to chew on during long church services uh, to help keep the parishioners awake. Um, or if they had a kid that was being noisy, they would give some dill seeds to the kid to chew on to keep the child quiet. Uh, so you can get yourself, if, if you're a churchgoer and, and you have a long-winded uh, reverend or pastor or bishop or whatever, maybe take a little pocket of dill seeds with you and you can chew on them for a while if you find yourself getting sleepy. Um, they also were one of many herbs that were taxed uh, in England back in the day. Edward I uh, needed money um, or he didn't have enough money to fix London Bridge. London Bridge needed some repairs and he didn't have enough money to fix it. So dill, uh, along with other herbs, were one of the things that an additional tax were added on so that he could raise the money to fix London Bridge. Um, and then, you know, I mean, dill's been grown in cottage gardens throughout England and into America. And, you know, it's got all these different uses and, and stories about it. And yet, really, the main thing we know dill about now is, you know, just going to have some dill pickles. But, you know, it's got lots of other uses. If you do some research on it, you can find plenty of other recipes for dill or dill seeds. Or even if you just want to, you know, collect the dill seeds so you got something to plant next year, that's, that's awesome too. You know, saving seeds is always a good thing for sustainability. Um, oh, one other historical thing is that the Greeks and Romans used it a lot. The Greeks would burn uh, dill scented oils to give a pleasing aroma in their homes. Um, the Romans, uh, oh, and they also used it in, to make wine with. They put uh, dill essential oils in their wines. Uh, the Romans did some similar things and also gladiators were fed meals that had a lot of dill on them because it was believed to increase their valor and courage. So just some kind of neat stuff there on the history of dill. Um, but try growing some dill in your garden. It's, it's a wonderfully fragrant uh, herb to grow and uh, you know it attracts pollinators once it starts flowering and then you can get the seeds and, and, and the stalks and all that kind of stuff. You know it's, it's all good stuff. So Hope that was helpful. Hope you found that interesting. And thanks for stopping by and checking out our channel. Please subscribe to our channel so that you can, uh, you know, see all of our other content. And um, I guess that's about it on Dill today. But hope you're having a great day in your neck of the woods, at your homesteads, and in your gardens. And I hope everything's going well for you. Hope to see you again soon. Namaste.